Lexi Nair attempts to interview Hook. His first match on Dynamite is next week in Pittsburgh. It actually appears he's going to answer her question when Smart Mark and Tony Nese interrupt. They're very upset that once again, Hook is having opportunities handed to him despite everything Tony Nese has earned and not gotten. And as soon as Hook stands, they do the wise thing and run for their lives. And uh, Dan Housen there and is there in some sort of aerobics gear trying to curse Hook. It still won't work. All right, so this is the other one that I just had. Uh, my God, did I get it on this one. The Hook deal? So not just Hook, but uh, Dan Housen. Should I even bother to... Uh, I'm not going to go on the board and read it. But the gist of it is this. Dan Housen has been on the show for weeks and weeks and weeks. A couple of months, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I know who Dan Housen is. I'm sure most of the people in the chat know who Dan Housen is. But there's a million people watching the show on uh, national television. And there's a sizable percentage of them who have no fucking idea what, who, or anything about Dan Housen. What is a better way to put it? What Dan okay. Housen is, yes. Now listen, I had the temerity to say that we need a video package or an interview. And my God was I shouted down about this. Oh, must we dumb it down, people said? Must everything be explained to everybody? Bro. I didn't I didn't say anything about explaining everything. I said explain anything. And I had these people listening things like, oh, what is there to explain? He's a he's a demon, but and I'm like, bro, whatever you just said right there, you know that because you understand the Danhausen character. But if you don't if you don't know who Danhausen is and you're watching this show, you don't even know if he's a wrestler. No. Bro, he's never one time even thrown out the line, very nice, very evil. Not one fucking time. We, it's not like we, they're like, oh, if you'd say, if you tell everything about Dan House and you, everything, tell me anything. If my wife were watching this show, she'd have no earthly fucking idea what was going on with Dan Danhausen. Nothing. Not a thing. Okay? Trust me. Give the guy a promo or have the best friend say something about the guy. It's been weeks. And in the beginning, he showed up and everybody popped. And uh, that was all we saw of him. And then he made like a cameo, you know, a, a couple of weeks later or a week later or whatever. And, you know, it was nothing. And I was fine for a while because it's like, okay, eventually uh, he'll get a promo or something. Okay. Literally, literally, all we know is he is a guy who paints his face and he tries to put on curses to hook and they don't work. We know nothing else. Does he wrestle? Has he ever wrestled? Uh, uh, any name anything we don't know anything else about the guy not one why does single he paint his face? solitary thing why does he curse and people? boy i why had the want to temerity so to suggest that he get an interview oh clearly the check didn't come in this week bros fuck me this is not the internet it's national television it's time Everybody learned one thing, okay? Fine. One thing about Danhausen. I think it's time, and I'm not a motherfucker for suggesting such a thing, okay? God help me. Fuck me. You know the funniest thing about this? If they went to Danhausen and said, Mr. Hausen, here's a microphone and a camera. We're giving you 60 seconds to say whatever you want and explain yourself to the fans at home. Go. I bet it would be awesome. <laughs> I'm very confident it would be awesome. Bro, <laughs> why would you not want to get, get promo? over? How did Dan Housen get over? By his doing wrestling? Wacky... I don't know. His fucking his interviews, his talking, his character. We've seen none of that. Zilch. And I am the bad guy for suggesting that we give Danhausen a little time to get his fucking character over. 
What in the fuck world do we live in where I'm the bad guy here? Jesus. Rob Bartlett is the man. He tried the best he can. It's on the new What Rob Bartlett's going to do to you. Vinny V, Happy Corbin, and Bartlett in a three-way. Oh. Here comes the commentator, Rob Bartlett. He's a great imitator of Vince McMahon. Rob, you're the love of my life. Come back to Monday Night Raw and be my wife. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. Is this Rob Bartlett? Guilty as ch- Hey! Oh, look who's star. here on the show, everybody! There's a star here. Rob, hey, Rob Bartlett is joining us here today. How you doing, Rob? I don't know what to say about this. To actually be proposed to in song was a beautiful thing. <laughs> I couldn't really do much of an impression of him other than the, the tone of the voice, you know? <laughs> he still got it. <laughs> He still got it. I think I had the wrong guy. Well, what, what did you learn about the the Rob Bartlett that you you uh, you checked out? He was an explorer way back when. That's not him. <laughs> well, I don't know. He was born August fifteenth, eighteen seventy five, and so, died you, April twenty eighth, nineteen forty six. He died in okay, but you thought he might be on the show this week. Well, I couldn't figure out why you guys picked him. You're going to go to the Brian and Vinnie Matt Cleary Memorial Hall of Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Hey. Aye, aye, aye. Well, there he goes. Very aye. prestigious. You get nothing. You've warmed the cockles of my heart. I have warm cockles now. And um, <laughs> Lucky fella. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm moist. I'll just say that. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm moist. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.